Does he, does he know I'm the boss? Hi everyone, John here. Welcome to another episode of Unlikely Beds. Today I'll be meeting someone who ensures the security of buildings in Singapore at night. He's not a police officer or an army official, he is none other than a security officer. To meet Mr. Suhardi Paiman, I am here at PLQ, Fire Labour Quarter, where Mr. Suhardi has had up to two years of experience in this field. Uh, John? Hey, yes. Hi. Nice to I'm Suhadi. Ah, so Hadi. Yeah, so you can call me Hadi actually okay. for short. Okay, are you ready for the job? Yes, I am. Is that all for me? All right. First of all, you need to wear this. Yeah. So that I don't get lost, right? Yeah, and basically <laughs> they know who to look for. Yeah. It's on first floor, the third floor, so you can see, yeah? Okay. So how are you finding PLQ? Wow, oh, I, I am excited to, to start and uh, I've been here for, for my own leisure, lah, but now uh, I'm here for a job. All right, cool. Okay, let's go. Yeah. So, Hadi, the first thing I have to ask you right, is what exactly does a security officer do? Security officer, basically, you have to guard the place, mm, to protect mm, mm. the place, and also the most important is about customer. Ah. So, when they come here, they see nothing damaged, everything's yeah, 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 nice, yeah, yeah. all that, and that's what the client wants, mm, and mm. also that makes the customer happy when mm. they come down to the PLQ. That's true, that's true. Yeah. So like if I come here, you know, feel you're, secure I'll, feel safe, safe. Right? Yes, I'll feel yes, safe. Yes, that's the thing. So one real question for you is because you mm. see at night got no people, right? So why, why is it important for you all to do your job at night? Because there's no one here, like, you don't need to worry, right? Okay, that is where the thing is, you have to be more careful and more alert. At because, night? Yeah, because right. that the daytime there's a crowd and the management, the uh, technician all around. Oh. So if anything happens, we can still get the technician. Right, 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 right. But so if the night, rest of the staff are here. Yes, it could. so if it's at night, yeah. then if anything happens, then we are the first person contact. Oh. Yeah, so, so you're the eyes and the ears for the people in the daytime. Yes. Right? And now we're going to be closing uh, one yeah, of the Yeah, we're right? going to close this one, uh -huh. the entrance towards the MRT. Mm, because Patrons shouldn't be coming in. Yes, mm. we need to barricade this area. Right. Yeah. Is this to prevent the people that are still inside from uh, trying to touch the door? Yes, because the thing uh. is, sometimes people when they the door is like that, yeah, they might think that it's a sensor. Or oh, because auto door they're used yes. to that, right? So, so if we... we barricade, it show that this area is closed. So just in the center, lah. Yeah. So normally this happens at what time? Uh, normally we do the mall closing at uh, 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock? Yeah. Because so most of the outlet they close at 10. I see. Right. Unhook this. Stop. Right. I put okay. it in the center. Make it symmetrical. Yeah. Okay. Just hang it over so here. Oh. So there's no entry. Okay, how are you? I got some questions to ask you. Huh? Okay. Okay, come, let's take a seat. It's the right. first time I sit in a mall like this. Ah. <laughs> okay, so for this interview, we can mask off lah. Okay. Okay. The first question I have for you, right? Mm. As a security officer, right? Right. What are some of the challenges that you face on the job? Of course the hours. Mm. We are working against the body clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As second basically like the members of the public or that. Sometimes people think that we don't have rest at night or we rest too long, uh -uh. all that kind of thing. We do rest, we do have break time, mm -hmm. but job is still a job. Mm. Our job is to be the eye of the company. Ah, to stay uh, alert. To la. stay alert right, right. and to see any abnormality. Mm. Nowadays, a lot of technology apply. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. an open space doesn't mean that there's no alarm. Ah, yes, uh, yes, yes. There's still someone watching. Yes, uh, because uh, in the olden days, yeah. only when you open the door, there's an alarm. Ah, okay. When you break the thing, there's an yeah. alarm. But when there's an open space, nobody knows that yeah. there is an alarm in the open space. Still keeping everything yes. in the space. Uh. So for all those with uh, itchy fingers, don't try. <laughs> we also have motion, motion sensor. Ah. Uh, like, you remember just now when we do the closing, all that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it do trigger. And oh. I get the message from the uh, office, from oh, the headquarters, right. and it do capture that there is a movement. So they have like a picture? 
of us. Yes, yes, I can show it to you. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Because this is what we call a VCA. Right. Oh. So they do capture like this. Right, 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 so, right. We were on the escalator. Yeah, so that means when it's open space like this, yeah, yeah, yeah. doesn't mean that nobody watching you. Mm -hmm. Beside the sensor around the mall, about the perimeter, we do have uh, one trusted body oh, that we call Oscar. Oh, right. Yeah, uh, come, I introduce you to okay, him. Okay, sure. Can't wait to meet Oscar. Okay, yeah, 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 as yeah. you can see, there he is. Ah. Okay, basically, we is a pre-programmed route. His job is basically to patrol around the perimeter for right, right, anything right. like smoking. I see. Yeah, whereby sometimes we all can miss yeah, at the yeah, FCC yeah. or so that. So people smoking out of the smoking area. Yes, kind of thing, and like illegal parking, ah, motorcycle. All okay, this okay. is programmed in the AI. Yes. You know, last time security all that we use walkie talkie. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Now we make use of the mobile phone. Oh. Easy. Ah, okay. So not only we receive, other officers also receive. Yeah. yeah. And okay, I show you one ah, interesting ah. thing about Oscar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take example. Oh, it will cleverly avoid you. Yeah, because he knows I'm the boss. Oh. <laughs> does, he, does he know I'm the boss? Okay, now you hmm. can you can see that uh, just receive a message. Ah. Normally, we because this uh, using a mobile technology, we don't yes. use any walkie-talkie. This is what we call Argus. Argus. Yeah. Okay. So this Argus basically you can make a report. So like now. They detect something, yeah. the BCC will send a message to us. Mm, mm, the mm. image of what Oscar see. So we will go down and verify what mm. is it and why is there all that. And rectify what, rectify what Oscar it. notices. Yeah. La. So if let's say someone illegally parked a bicycle here, mm. you can just grab it and then move it back to the original place. Yeah. Wow, that is so cool! Okay, John, mm -hmm. uh, this is our restroom. This is ah. where we rest. I see, okay, okay. Okay, here we are. Okay, basically here you can have a rest mm. and you can have your drink, cold water or that. Okay, yeah. okay. thank you so much, buddy. All right. So if anything, just give me a call. Ken. All right. I think I'm pleasantly surprised and also really impressed about how technology and the security job scope right, is so intertwined. Like, maybe because I don't know enough about this industry, right? my idea is still the very old one, which is basically like very 1G army style, you have to individually go and walk the grounds, when actually now everything that, that, that Hardy does right, is actually in tandem and together integrated together with uh, other other technology like AI, like Oscar. And uh, yeah, and this is amazing to think about because like it actually helps to keep our security officers to, to be more alert, to be more focused on tasks that actually require human intervention. And that is really amazing because you never thought about these kind of things until you're actually present. And I think I've, I've got a lot of newfound respect for our security officers. Hello, Hadi. Hey, hi, John. So, how's yes. your break? Wow, pretty good, pretty good. I, 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 had, a, I, had, a, I had a little bit of a, a rest. Right. But I do still do have to say that this night shift is, is, is not the easiest. Yeah, yeah. Kudos, you to to you. Kudos to you. Yeah. Kudos to you. So, I got a question for you, mm. Hadi. So, what is the thing that you get the most satisfaction from like, for doing this job? When I help someone, mm. that kind of thing, like maybe they lost something and we managed to find it, that kind yeah, yeah. of thing. Helping, helping the customer find their way and get the uh, like comment from them, mm -hmm. that's one of the things that we like. At the end of the day, yeah. well, at least I did a good job, that kind of thing. You are quite customer oriented, huh? good job. <laughs> well, one more question I have for you. Right? Mm. So like, what is one thing that you would like the average Singaporean to mm. understand better about what you do as a security officer. The sacrifice that we make mm. uh, on the family time, all that, mm. 
for those who are married with children. Yes. Yeah, like you said, it's not easy to rest just for an hour or two. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. You need to have a good rest or that. So that's one thing that they have to understand that actually night security is not really a easy thing that mm. that's what they think. Yeah. It's really a lot of sacrifice and passion I can say. If you like your job, you like what you do, mm. you have, you will get used to it. Yeah. Okay Hari. So I am looking at the time and I am quite excited because it seems that our shift is coming to an end. So before you end your shift, what is the what is one thing that you would have to do? Uh, since we close the mall, we need to open the mall back. Okay. All right, let's go. So now it's the morning, it's the end of the shift and the security officers and of course myself, we finally get our well-deserved rest. People might not know that we have done this job, but personally, I feel that they are definitely unsung heroes for doing all the things behind the scenes that people will never see, but always feel. Through this eye-opening experience, I got to understand the job scope of our security officers and their unlikely bits. Join me next time as we explore the unlikely bits of our unsung heroes. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Ring the notification bell and watch our other videos over there. Bye!